All right, what's up, guys? This is Ninja Death Trick bringing you some Next Destinies pack openings. I just got them last night, so you can see here I've got quite a few, and um, I put this up. You'll probably also be getting a Nuzlocke episode today. I was waiting for these to come out last night, but they were late, so I went ahead and filmed an another episode of the Nuzlocke. But for now, we're gonna open ten. You can see I've got a hundred, but uh. <laughs> We're not going to open them all in a row. We're going to do 10 first, and I'll do the same thing I did with Noble Victories, where I go through and kind of uh, look at each card and give my thoughts on whether or not it's going to be playable or not. So here we go. First pack. Um, let's cross our fingers for Mewtwo EX. All right. So no, we didn't get a Mewtwo. We got Muna, Cricketot, Panpour, Elegem. Fire Litwick, and we got Double Bayum. Uh, let's look at his attack. Brain Control, your opponent reveals his hand, choose a card there, and have them shuffle it into the bottom of their deck. Uh, that's interesting, certainly. I don't know how useful it'll be, because it doesn't do any damage, and uh, his HP is not great. So, But we got two of them, if we ever want to try and play around with it. Jigglypuff is uncommon, that's odd. Luxio and Arcanine. All right, open another. Okay, C dot. Pikachu, Darmakua, Pimpor, Elegem. All right, we got the good Arcanine. Um, this one is actually bordering on playable, I would say. We got uh, 130 HP for stage one. That's great. Blazing Mane automatically burns if he's attacked, so that's cool. You don't have to do anything to activate it. And then Fire Spin, which does 100, and you have to discard 2 energy. So uh, he's kind of like Reshiram, but not as good. <laughs> Still, uh, not a terrible card. So that's cool. And um, after that, we have Pinsir. Power Pinch, flip 2 coins for each head's discard and energy attached to the defending Pokemon. Uh, not, I mean, if this attack did any damage, it would be good, and it's kind of flippy. You do have a 75% chance to discard an energy, but other than that, he can't really do anything, and most of the best decks actually run energy acceleration, so I don't see him getting a whole lot of play. And then we got Pokemon Center, that's nice, it lets you heal 20 damage from one of your bench Pokemon every turn. Got an Emolga, and we got a Hippodown. Open another. All right. Let's see, Pan Seer, Muna, Litwick, another Elegem, Pampor. We got enough of those. All right, Musharna. This is a good card, I think. 100 HP on a stage one is not great. Its attack is terrible, but uh, the ability is what we're interested in here. Forewarn. Once during your turn, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, choose one of them, and put it into your hand. Then put the other back on top of your deck. So it gives you a little bit of extra draw support, and uh, it's really helpful for getting through cards you don't need. So I could see this thing getting some play. I'll probably try it out. Simipore, Basculin, Luxio, and we got our first Prism Energy, which is great. Uh, Prism Energy is the same as a Rainbow Energy, except it only works on basics, but you don't have to attach, uh, you don't have to put a damage counter on, so it's really good for basically any deck that uses basic attackers, which is almost all of them. So, alright, that was a pretty good pack. Uh, no EXs, but not bad. Alright, we got our first EX, I see him hiding back there. We got Elegem, Pampor, C Dot, Cubchu, Shinx. We got Zapdos. Um, Zapdos it has 120 HP, so one of those big basics we've been seeing so many of. And then Random Spark does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, so it's able to snipe. Um, and then Thundering Hurricane lets you flip four coins, and it does 50 times the number of heads. So. This is a pretty solid card, in my opinion. Um, the ability to snipe for 50, and then this uh, ability to hit for 150 or even 200 on occasion. Uh, you're going to average 100 damage, which isn't bad. So I, 
I think this card is pretty good. It's not like top class, but it could see some play. And um, then we have our first EX. We got Regigigas EX. So look at this. Look at how broken these cards are. 180 HP. Uh, that's just crazy, and it's basic. And then we've got uh, Giga Power. You does 60 for three, and then you have the option to do 20 more and add 20 damage to yourself if you do. So that doesn't sound that great, but then when we read his second attack, we see that it's actually really strong because his second attack, Raging Hammer, does 10 damage, uh, does 50 damage plus 10 more for each damage counter on Regigigas. So it's like a super outrage. Uh, not only is the base power higher, Regigigas has a massive amount of HP to use it with. So this card has got some potential to do major damage. It's capable of tanking basically any hit in the game except for Magnazone and then immediately uh, KOing something back. So it does cost four energy to do that, but uh, I think there is some potential here. His main drawbacks are his weakness being fighting, which is a pretty popular type right now, and then uh, the four retreat. But still, I can't wait to test this guy out. And we got a Lampent after that, another Jigglypuff, and another Basculin. So, all right, open another. Come on, oh yes, <laughs> double EX pool. All right, well, first let's look at our commons. We got Pidov, we got Muna, C Dot, Pikachu, Dar. I can't say that thing's name. Darumaka? Darumaka. Level ball, we got our first Pokeball. Um, oh, wow, when you do it like that, it gives it to you in the rarity order, so that's cool. Search your deck for Pokemon with 90 HP or less, reveal it to your opponent, and shuffle it into your hand. Um, this is a, a okay card. Uh, it's certainly got potential, especially in things like Eel Zone and especially in Durant. It'll be really great, so I'd expect to, um, for this card to see some play. Oh, that was my reverse hollow. That's why it showed up first. And now we got our second EX, Zekrom EX, um, who's also extremely good, like almost all of the EXs. Again, that massive 180 HP for a basic. It's <laughs> just broken. Uh, Glinting Claw, not very exciting. 50 for 3 with uh, 80 on a flip. But then we have Strong Volt, which is the draw of this card. For uh, 4 energy, does 150 damage. And you have to discard two energy attached to Zekrom. Uh, 150 damage. And we all know our good friend Eelzone is going to be around to uh, help Zekrom get repowered. So I would expect to see this guy get played in at least one um, in most Eelzone decks. I'm, I don't think he'll be the star just because the Magnazone is still better. But he's definitely a solid playable card. So... And he's in the X, which is nice. Next, we got Nuzleaf. Uh, experience share. This is an interesting card. What happens is when your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage uh, from an opponent's attack, you can move one of the energy attached to it to something to another Pokemon you have. So it's basically an energy conserver. And that's really good. I could see this maybe getting played in decks like um, Coke or... Uh, six corners, just things that don't have a normal way to reliably energy accelerate. The big problem is that if you play experience share on your Pokemon, you can't also have Eviolite attached to it, but this is a very good card. Next, we got Frillish. Okay. Five to go. Open another Mewtwo. Come on. Ah, well, didn't get a Mewtwo, but we got another EX, so... Jeez. All right. Panseer. Ralts. Darmaka. Man, they're going to make me say that name a lot. <laughs> I have a feeling. Elgem. Pimpor. Zebstrika. Uh, Zebstrika is interesting. And this is my reverse hollow. Because of his first attack, disconnect for uh, two energy. It does 40 damage. And your opponent is not allowed to play any items from his or her hand next turn. So it's kind of like a really bad version of Vileplume, but it does damage. Um, some people have speculated it might have some use, so we'll have to wait and see. 
And then the other one is Lightning Crush. Uh, discard all the lightning energies, and you get to snipe for 80. So this is not a bad card, especially because this retreat is free. So, um, you know, it could work in um, Eel Zone or just Eel Decks, you know, any kind of Eel Deck, because it can use that Lightning Crash to snipe for 80 and then retreat back to the bench and let something else come in. So uh, this is definitely the strongest Zeb Striker we've gotten. I think it might be playable, but kind of as... Uh, maybe not in a tier one deck. And then we've got a full art Reshiram EX. Hell yes. Basic, 180 HP. Glinting Claw is the exact same as Zekrom, but fire energy. And it's actually better on Reshiram because uh, with Reshiram, it, it's a Durant killer. Uh, if you get Glinting Claw going, it just beats Durant. Um, so it's much more useful here than it is on Zekrom. And then for his second attack, we have Brave Fire. It does four damage, uh, takes four energy, and does 150 damage. And then you have to flip a coin. If it's Tails, you do 50 to yourself, which is not too great. So a lot of people have proposed running this with Victini, and that's certainly an option. You know, if he had Outrage still, this would be much less of a problem. But putting yourself down to 130 HP is really asking to get revenge killed and uh the exes kind of want to be in for more than one turn since they're giving up two prizes but still this is definitely a good card definitely playable and uh, i actually needed it to put together my um reshi flosion ex deck so that'll probably be the first one you guys see me play with once i get it put together next we got another jigglypuff vanillish and Sky Over Bridge. This is another big card in the set. Um, the retreat cost of basic Pokemon is one energy less. So this is what a lot of people have speculated is going to make Celebi Prime good as an energy accelerator. And it also helps to lessen the massive retreat of all of those big EX Pokemon. Specifically, it brings Mewtwo down to one retreat cost, which is pretty scary. So this is another really good card. Open another... Mewtwo, come on. Nope. All right. We got Pampor, Dot, Riolu, Shinx, Hippopotas, Starmie. Um, Starmie's kind of cool. And this is our reverse holo. Just, he's a real cheap attacker. Automatic Confusion is meh. And Swift, 50 for one, not bad. No retreat. So this is definitely a decent card. And our uh, rare for this pack is Jalescent. We got Vengeful Wish. I forget what this does. If this Pokemon was damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does the same amount. Okay, so it just it's basically like a mirror move um, for damage. It could, I don't know, not I don't know, not that great. And then Absorb Life, three for thirty is terrible, and it heals thirty damage. Yeah, this is a bad card. Next, got another experience share, got a Frillish, and another Arcanine. All right, open another. Come on, Mewtwo. Nope. Growlithe, Hippopotas, Pharaoh Seed, Blitzel, P Dove, Basculin. All right, here's uh, this is our rare, I think, Scrafty. Scrafty, 90 HP, that's pretty bad for a stage one. Rockhead, during your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. And then Hammer Kick does 50. And if the defending Pokemon has fewer HP than Scrafty remaining, it does 80. Not a very good card. Next. All right, we got a, a Heavy Ball. This is another new uh, ball type card the second in next destinies and this one is a little bit better than level ball i think let's you search your deck for pokemon with a retreat cost of three or more reveal it and put it into your hand so this could definitely work in eel zone decks to get magnezone it can work in any deck where you need a terrakion quickly and uh, it also helps find regigigas so it could see some play we'll have to wait and see 
Another experience share and another frillish. All right, two more. Open another Mewtwo. Nope. Another Scrafty. Wow, this is a bad pack. Pharaoh Seed, Hippopotas, Meowth, Shinx, Pansage, Hippopotas, Scrafty, Jigglypuff, Luxio, Arcanine. All right. Last pack for now. Come on, Mewtwo. Nope. Blitzel, Fungus, Vanilla, Shinx, Muna, Curlia, Moltres. All right, here's another uh, big basic, 120 HP, Searing Flame, 50 and an automatic burn, so that's not terrible, and then Fire Blast, 90 and discard an energy. Not a bad card by any means, but just kind of outshined by a lot of other stuff, so we'll probably give it a pass. Vanillish, Lampent, Raichu. Um, yep. So that's going to do it for now, guys. I will put up another one sometime soon, I'm sure. Might even be later today, so stay tuned for that. And uh, I've also got an episode of the Nuzlocke coming your way. So lots of stuff going up today. Take care, guys, and I'll see you again shortly.